So the offering of balanced view is education in the nature of mind. It's an opportunity for anybody who's open to it to get to know the beneficial nature of all experience, of our own mind, of reality itself, of our intelligence. And the way that Balanced View provide this education is through a simple support and tools that we can use in our everyday life very directly. We can use them and empower ourselves to recognize the beneficial nature of all experience. <coughs> and what we are introduced to is open intelligence, the beneficial nature of reality. And if we just stop thinking for a moment, what remains? The bright cognizance and alertness, intelligence, open like the sky, always present, forever reliable, can't turn it off. And so once we've identified it, we can always identify it once we've been introduced. And the what we can see is that all of our experiences in our life are forever changing, this moment itself forever changing, all our thoughts, emotions. We, call, we term it just data streams in the balance view training. And data and open intelligence, completely inseparable, like the color blue in the sky, like the breeze in the air. And what we've been doing through our life what I had been doing through my life was focusing on the data streams, focusing on the experiences, trying to arrange them to get the right ones in place. An ongoing effort, ongoing project, just constantly like uh, having the, the good data. And when we are introduced to open intelligence, we realize that open intelligence is fundamental to, primary to all of our experience, all of the data streams. And so we're invited just to relax and identify fundamental open intelligence. Rest as open intelligence. And let all the data streams simply be as they are. Our thoughts, emotions, experiences. Seeing that each moment the data unpredictable, countless, ceaseless, forever changing. So really, what is there to do apart from relax? We can try and get in there and change our thoughts and emotions and make them better. But they're just forever changing anyway. They resolve themselves like a line drawn in air. There's nothing needing to be done. What we were thinking the last moment isn't there anymore. So we do just relax and we gain confidence and assurance that we can relax as open intelligence. We can rely on it. That really this open intelligence is the fuel and foundation and basis of all of our experiences. Like whenever we check it out right now, open intelligence shining brightly, all experience right there too. Inseparable. And the appearances, the data stream, so vivid and vibrant and alive and powerful. And that is the very dynamic energy of open intelligence. We don't want to get rid of it. We don't want to mute it down. And this has been the misperception in my life, like thinking that those strong feelings, the negative strong feelings I need to get rid of because they're wrong. And then discovering I don't need to at all. That they can just be there. They can be as they are. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the best news ever. Because all of that struggling to avoid, so much avoidance of my experience, antidoting, trying to not feel this great rush of being alive, thinking constantly I needed to replace it, change it, do something about it. And then just gradually with the Four Mainstays, using the Four Mainstays to like gain confidence that I can just let it be as it is. And really it's this incredible fuel to be of great benefit. That's all that's going on. And this is revealed through the Four Mainstays. It's revealed again and again to us. And the tools of the Four Mainstays, are the, the first of the Four Mainstays is short moments of open intelligence. So that is just recognizing open intelligence, 
letting everything be as it is, relaxing completely whenever we remember. The most basic and natural way to be. Like all efforting, done. Totally giving up all effort, relaxing completely. Such a relief. And, and if we find it difficult to relax as open intelligence, we draw on the other four mainstays. We look at the four mainstays, we identify what supports us. So the other four mainstays, the second one is trainings and training media. If we find that is empowering for us, we go to the media, listen to talks, write out texts, join trainings, join calls. There is a wealth of offerings online so that this can be our lived experience. So everybody can have this, can know this about ourselves. Um, no longer it just being mysterious and that we can, can we continue on struggling with our experience, but really we, we can know and empower ourselves to relax in every moment and see really that we are so capable and so beneficial. And the third mainstay is the trainer. So somebody who has, is, has gained confidence, who has a conviction in the in their own capacity to rely on open intelligence, who sees you as open intelligence, who only wants to empower that in you. And the trainers, we can, we can be in touch with the trainer if we've completed the 12 empowerments. We can also be in touch with the trainer at meetings like this or in trainings. We have many one day trainings here in Bristol. So if you would like to know more, you're welcome to join them. One day introductory trainings. Where you read a text, get to know the written trainings of Balanced View, which directly evoke and empower the recognition of open intelligence for ourselves. We can ask more questions, get clear on what it is to be human, what it is to be greatly beneficial and not settle for anything else. Really see that for ourselves. And, um, and the fourth mainstay is the community, just people around the world choosing this, seeing this in their own experience. Saying, open intelligence is present and I want to live as that. I want to emphasize open intelligence. I want to emphasize beneficial reality. And no longer just play around in data streams, thinking that that's going to find me relief. And so in the community, we really get to see, it's so important to see other people living like this. Like that's how we learn, like we're so informed by culture. So we create a new culture. Firstly, in ourselves, where we let ourselves be as we are completely. We get to see how powerful we are in each moment. And we see that in other people and we confirm it in ourselves and others. That's the power of community. It's not a solo effort. And we can just see the effect then that can have on society and being in the role model and example, really standing up for this birthright to know our beneficial nature and not settling anymore. We can see what's just going on in the world. I can just see in my own life and then how that's perpetuated in society. And so we make a stand very simply by relaxing, by using the four mainstays. And, um, and it just unavoidably we open up to this, open intelligence becomes obvious. Short moments repeated many times, open intelligence becomes obvious. Nothing needing to be done, just relaxing as we are. Relaxing into the four mainstays, seeing that this support integrates seamlessly and perfectly into our life, no matter how our life is, just clicks in. Like we can listen to a talk anywhere I just see for myself, I could just listen to a talk anywhere and immediately like brightened my view. Like opening up right there. And I listened to talks for quite a while before I came to a, a meeting. And that was amazing. I mean, I just saw, I valued it so deeply. I saw just in my own life, it was like things like the sun rising, open intelligence unavoidably becoming obvious. It's like, wow, I didn't know this. And now I do. And now I want to train this up and I want to make it a priority in my life because I can see the great benefit. And so it just naturally beca becomes a focus, this, this burning passion to be of great benefit. And that's what we all feel in everything. And so there's never no not benefit or no benefit. 
it's really always there. The realization of open intelligence reveals benefit for us.